Hi guys, David McSweeney here with Hrefs. Today I'm going to show you how to find high quality backlink opportunities by looking for broken outbound links using Hrefs Site Explorer. So we're going to start off in Google and we're going to put in a very simple search query. I'm going to look for best healthy eating blogs. that's quite a high quality site it's got a domain rating of 56 which means that uh, getting a link from that to your website is going to be quite useful for your rankings and next thing I'm going to do I'm going to go to outgoing links and search for broken links so click on broken links under outgoing links and we can see hrefs has discovered 583 pages that have broken links on them on this particular site. Now you can see a lot of these have got this sort of uh, well it looks like a bit like a stop smoking icon but this actually means that it's a no follow link which be, this being a blog probably these are going to be a lot of comment links and uh, so what we'll do we'll come back to these these are actually useful as well but for the moment I'm more interested in links from within content. So I'm going to change this to do follow. So link type do follow, which means that the links are more likely to be editorial in content. broken to the old content but that's just that's basically the start of the process now I'm going to show you how using one site you can quickly scale this up and find hundreds if not thousands of opportunities so we'll go back into Hrefs site explorer into the same report and what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna for one of these broken links Going to hover over here which basically is going to show us some stats on the domain so we can see there's actually 66 links pointing to this particular broken link here so in addition to this page there's another 65 links that are pointing to this page um, and I can just have a look at them by clicking on backlinks and there we can see all the pages that are linking to that particular broken link and there's quite a lot of them so so if we were to recreate that piece of content there's there's quite a good chance if we were to reach out to all these sites 
tell them about the broken link and point them to our own resource that we should get some, some links out of that and they're all going to be high quality. You can see here we've got domain ratings 56, 52, 59. So some really nice high authority sites that are linking through to that old expired page. And basically we could just repeat that process with the next broken link. Find out who's linking there, create something similar, point them to that. So we can you can quickly see we could scale that up quite nicely. Now I mentioned I was going to go back to comment links, so what I'll show you now is I'll change this back to all. So now we can see the no follow links from comments again. And what you normally find with comment links are actually expired domains as opposed to 404 content expired or or no longer no longer active slash maintained. So this one here, wildtime.com, if I click on it. We can see, yep, it's it's gone. It's it's not there, which is fine. And we can just hover over here and take a look at the referring domains. We can see there's actually 72 referring domains pointing to this site. And again, there's some nice high authority links there. So there's good opportunity for us to if we created a piece of content similar to what was on there, or you know, we could find out what these links were pointing to by clicking on backlinks. Uh, it looks like this is a Jamaican jerk marinade recipe. So we could just basically create similar content, reach out, and there's some more links we can grab. Uh, now, you probably want to keep all this information in a spreadsheet, so each time you do, you find a new site, you might just want to export export this out and start collecting all this information. You can see that quite quickly you're going to get hundreds and hundreds of uh, potential linkies from one, one broken link. Let them know that they're linking to a site that's no longer there and in fact is now pointing to something that which might be harmful to one of their own visitors. And we can see there's some high quality links there. So as I say, we can just reach out to these sites, let them know that they're linking to a, a malware site and point them to our own site slash resource at the same time. And we can see there's, you know, there's lots and lots of domains here that are, are no longer active. Checking these dates actually gives us an indication. The, the older actually, the more likely that it's definitely still gone. Well, these 2016, there's one from 2015. It's on Instagram, but don't worry about that. Lots and lots of opportunity just from looking at one website. I just punched in a couple of cooks.com into Site Explorer, and from that one site, we found lots and lots of opportunities to build some high quality backlinks. Uh, and obviously, the next step we could do is just once we've exhausted that, just move on to the next one. It's proud to And again, we've got 26 pages here with broken links, so lots more opportunity. So that's the process. There's a bit more detail on this on a blog post over on the Hrefs blog. You'll find that at hrefs.com forward slash blog forward slash broken hyphen link hyphen building. And if you nip over there, 
As I say, you'll find a lot more detail on, on a couple of templates you can use for email outreach. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or on the blog, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.